As dawn breaks Friday, people in Mumbai, India realize their nightmare is not over. As army commandos scour two luxury hotels looking for remaining survivors and militants, a tense situation has developed at a Jewish center. Several explosions have been heard where militants are believed to be hiding, possibly holding hostages. Then gunfire erupted as Indian snipers fired on the building. The well-coordinated attacks by small bands of gunmen started Wednesday night, leaving scores of people dead at multiple locations and causing panic in the streets. TV started hearing some firing, and we were watching the TV, and they said some two gangs are fighting at each other. Then as time went on, TV started slowly turned around to say they could be terrorists. Overnight Thursday, explosions at the Taj Mahal and Oberoi hotels dwindled, and stories of survival emerged from guests. It must have been about just before 6 o'clock when we heard a, a loud bang on the door, um, looked through the keyhole, and uh, full up in uniforms and guns were um, uh, quite a few different commandos, special forces officers there to um, come in and take us out. Officials say the militants appeared to target Americans, Britons, and Jews. Um, and then the, the gunman told us to go up the stairs, up the fire escape stairs, about 30 of us all together. So we're walking up each flight of stairs and then he stopped us after two or three flights and, and told everyone to put their hands up and said, where are you from, you know, are there any British or Americans? At least three Americans were hurt. Few details were known about who was behind the attacks. Many of the gunmen were caught on camera, some walking casually before opening fire. They seem to know their way around the the back office and the back back part of the hotel very well, the kitchen and so on. So one assumes that there has been a considerable amount of detailed planning. A previously unknown group called Deccan Mujahideen was reportedly taking responsibility. The Deccan is a region in southern India that was traditionally ruled by Muslim kings. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.